a back brace for lower back pain can help um, reduce some symptoms? No, it is not the answer to everything. Um, hey, what's up? My name is Dr. Nate, and I just blabber on about lower back pain all the time. <laughs> Um, today we're going to talk about back braces, when they might be appropriate, um, and when you probably don't need it. So there's a lot, of, I get this question quite often, you know, what is the best thing that I can do for back pain? Are back braces effective? Um, and it depends on what you mean by effective. If you're looking for a long-term solution that is going to help increase your fitness and increase your resilience, then no. That's, 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 it's not a, it's not a long-term solution for you. If you are having uh, just intractable and awful pain that a back brain, a back brace helps. Sure. Um, I think you, you should wear one, um, to, to help with that. But if it becomes something that you're always doing and you're avoiding all activity and, um, you want to be more active, then it's probably not the right direction to go. If you're just happy to coast through life, and wear the brace and not be active, then you know I'm not gonna stop you. If you want to be more active and do more walking and athletic activities and hiking and all of that, yes, you can do it with the brace, um, but the brace itself is not really necessary in the sense of like, it's not gonna hold things together. Everyone thinks it's going to hold everything in place, but it's really not. What it's doing is it's applying pressure and it's giving you the sensation of stability. It's not actually changing any of the joint forces in the spine itself. Like you're still moving and shifting within the um, within that. So it's not really changing any sort of, of movements. It's not really changing any of the biomechanics other than preventing you from, from bending certain directions. So it's probably effective in reducing the range of motion that you're, that you're going through. And that alone can sometimes assist in um, helping to calm some symptoms down. So I think it's a, you know, it can be a, a, a useful short-term solution to help with that. Um, if you've had a, a spinal fusion or something like that, a back brace can be useful because it limits your range of motion. It's not that it creates more stability. Um, most braces, unless it's a, like a hard cast that prevents all motion, um, it's not really going to change the biomechanics that much. So, um, you know, if you're thinking that, well, my spine is unstable and I need a brace to fix it or I need to core strengthen to, to address that, um, that doesn't really happen. Like the, the only people who have unstable spines are those who have a grade three or four spondylolisthesis, which is a, a slipping of the vertebrae. It's a pretty big one. Um, and usually that's due to trauma, you know, some car accident or some fall from a high, a high height. Um, and then also people who have had spinal cord injuries who are, um, you know, um, paraplegic. So that, you know, that, cause you actually don't have the nerve inter, um, innervations to control the, the, um, abdominal muscles. Um, so that's, you know, that's, that's what core instability is. So everybody has enough core stability. Even the weakest person on this earth has enough core stability. So we don't need the brace to, to give us that. But again, it can give us the perception of stability, which is enough to help relieve some of the symptoms. And then, um, or calm things down for a little bit, and it restricts the range of motion uh, of which we're moving through. So there's no there's no secret sauce in, in any of this stuff. Um, so uh, this was a, a long video just to say that uh, it can be helpful for some people, um, particularly if you know it's really severe and you feel like you need to add a little pressure to it, and that makes it feel better. Um, but the the best thing that you can do moving forward is to figure out ways to get more active, um, which can be a lot of different things. I have lots of videos on that, um, but generally just getting more active within the confines of what your body can tolerate. Uh, thanks for watching. If this video was helpful for you, please like um, this video, subscribe to my channel, and go ahead and join my free Facebook group also. Um, all of those links are in the description below. Um, please comment below if you think that a back brace is helpful, not helpful, what your experience has been. I'd love to, love to hear from you. 
As always, have a strong and resilient day.